Hey, what's up everyone? As you all know, my name is Jody, and today I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, and I was inspired by Beauty and the Beastins on YouTube um, for meal prep Sundays, because that's something my wife and I do almost every single Sunday. So I think that's something that I may incorporate into my channel. But for today's video, we're going to be creating a ground turkey stir fry as our meal prep for the week, and we are gonna make um, breakfast cups. So I have all the ingredients laid out right here. Um, I haven't washed my produce yet, so I'll wash those in a bit. Um, pretty much everything I'll need for both um, breakfast and lunch. Everything here cost me literally less than fifty dollars. Um, so we divided it, divided that by the week, and that's like three dollars a meal per per person. So um, you save a lot of money, and I just love meal prepping. Meal prepping is literally the best thing ever. I know what I'm gonna eat. It's quick. It's Sundays it is kind of hectic because you have to cook everything but other than that during the week you just grab it and go so um stay tuned and let's get started on the video so I was creating this video and I was like let me make sure I let you guys know this is me every Sunday not be hair looking all wonky but I'm trying to be as real as possible for you guys for this video you want to come into my shot I know yeah. you want to come into the shot I like the same. Bye, honey. <laughs> so this is how we look every Sunday, y'all. Uh, meal prepping. This is real raw content. So, so we're just gonna go ahead and wash our veggies, so we can get to chopping. But, um, sorry, I'm not gonna show you guys everything. You know, we leave kids, we leave stuff once we clean it, we leave it in the thing. Who cares? But go ahead and wash your veggies. Um, I'll explain all the vegetables that we're using in just a second, but um, just so I can go ahead and get prepping, I want to make sure all of my vegetables are nice and washed. That way I can get to chopping. Okay, now that all of my veggies are washed, I'm going to go ahead and start prepping, cutting them. So a bunch of you have asked me where I get all my recipes from, and most of them are from Tasty. It's an app. Um, you just go on there, type in meal prep, or you can actually type in anything, and you will find whatever recipe you want. This time I found one. Um, shout out to Budget Bites. I'll go ahead and show it right now. But it's this was going to be a uh, turkey, ground turkey stir fry. So um, it's, there wasn't really that many ingredients that you needed. Neither was the breakfast cup. So it's pretty budget friendly. Like I said, I only spent like less than $50 dollars. Um, for everything for this week. So I'll go ahead and um, show the recipe on the next clip. Okay, so now that I've chopped up all the veggies I'm gonna need, I went ahead and mice, sorry, I cheated, I used my chopper. I miced the garlic, and now I'm going to make the soy sauce. Um, it's a stir fry sauce, actually. So you need soy sauce, you need sesame oil, you need red flakes, and some water and brown sugar. Sorry, I forgot the brown sugar, but I'll go ahead and get that and we will make the stir fry sauce. So what we're gonna do first is get a fourth cup of soy sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Um, and little uh, tidbit, I actually had a save 55 cents coupon for this. If you buy one that's 10 fluid ounces or more. So I know it's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. So we'll go ahead and put one fourth cup of soy. One fourth cup okay. into our bowl. Next is uh, 0.8 tablespoons of sesame oil. You can get any kind of sesame oil. This one is just the cheapest and it was right next to the soy sauce. Also, it's non-GMO. We love non-GMOs. Mm -hmm. And for that, you need 0.8. So, of course, I don't have the exact measurings, but um, it'll be four of these and uh, one fourth of the tablespoon. All right, so I had to pop the top off because it was going really slow. So, one, four, and then one baby one. There you go. So next, we're gonna use brown sugar, and we're gonna use the same exact measurements as we did measurements as we did for the um, the sesame oil. I don't know if y'all know, but brown sugar is really kind of hard to work with. I've always had a hard time with brown sugar, but we'll make it work. Cody. <laughs> Tricky. What's up? We get a cup of water. What's up, boobies? <laughs> Hi, cutie. Hi, baby. So it calls for 1.6 pinches of red flakes, but as you all know, Cassie and I love hot stuff, <laughs> so we're going to put a little bit more. 
so pretty much I'll just cover this whole thing right here because we love That's our clear. red peppers. Lastly, um, it costs for 1.6 tablespoons of water, so that's about 12 of these. So, of course, I'm using my Megan Thee Stallion Drive the Boat. <laughs> <laughs> and now, um, I'll go ahead and use the same spoon just to mix it all together. All right, now that this is all done, um, we'll go ahead and get started on the rest of the recipe, so stay tuned. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, um, you don't need to have a wok, we just happened to pick one up at Walmart. So we bought a big wok, I'm gonna add some oil, we use canola oil, I mean we have olive, but we'll just use what's handy. Um, so you just wanna make sure that you put a little bit in here, that way you can heat up for the ground turkey that you're about to put in. So leave that on there, medium high temperature, um, and then once the cooking um, oil is already getting starting to get good, we go, we'll go ahead and add the meat in just a sec. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is add the uh, ground turkey and the uh, garlic. So sorry y'all, it was sizzling, so I had to take it off real quick, so I don't wanna burn myself. But off camera, I went ahead and added the garlic, you can see it in there, and a little bit of lemon pepper. Not too much, uh, a lot of the flavor is gonna come from the sauce. So I didn't wanna add too much to the meat, so now you just break it down. Um, also, I forgot to mention how much meat you needed. You need um, for about eight servings, so that's like uh, four meals each of us. You need about 30 ounces of meat. I went ahead and added a little bit more because, you know, we're a little chunky, but uh, um, you only need about two packs of the um, tur ground turkey. We use, like I said, turkey. So um, you need, only need about two packs, but I went ahead and put in three. So we're just going to go ahead and mash this up, and we will add the rest of the ingredients in just a second. So now we're going to go ahead and just add four cups of uh, brown rice. Um, that'll be our base for the meal preps. Um, you always want to make sure you have at least something on the bottom. I mean, you can have vegetables and just your protein, but um, us personally, I don't really like get full off that end. If I'm not hung if I'm really hungry, I got a really bad headache. So we'll go ahead and just add this, and we'll get this cooking. All right, so we just went ahead and added the green bell peppers, red bell peppers, and the uh, green onions to the mix. So we're gonna go ahead and just stir it up, um, and then after this, then we'll add in the sauce. So. Um, the recipe calls just cook it for at least two minutes just to make sure that everything is good. Um, and then, after, like I said, after this, we'll go ahead and add actually the spinach, then the sauce. So while the other stuff is cooking, um, I'm cutting up the vegetables for the breakfast cups. Um, I know it's like, why did you just do this all at once? But it's I don't really have that much kitchen, so I have to do things one at a time. But it's fine. Um, whatever you can do, get that done. But I'm just chopping up this now for the breakfast cups while the turkey meat is continuing to still cook. So now we're gonna add about two handfuls of spinach. Um, and this you'll only cook until it's about, about one or two minutes. Um, I'll add a little bit more. One or two minutes and um, you just want it to be half wilted. You don't want it to be all the way wilted. So you'll add that, we'll mix it up and then I'll show you guys right now once we add the stir fry sauce. So now that the spinach is halfway wilted, we'll go ahead and add the sauce. And you just wanna pour this over just like that. And cook this for another about two to three minutes. Make sure everything is all the way in the sauce and then you can go ahead and pour it in your bowls. So we went ahead and put eggs in here um, for the breakfast cups while everything else is cooking. I um, want to show you guys also that I've chopped up all the vegetables for the breakfast eggs. We're going to have uh, two different kinds. So we'll have broccoli and then tomatoes on the bottom. And then this one is red and bell peppers and onions. Um, and then of course on each one you'll have spinach. So we're going to go ahead and just whisk these eggs. We did use 20 eggs um, because we are making 24 cups, breakfast cups. Um, so you'll just want to whisk, whisk all these up beforehand. So we'll go ahead and do this real quick. And then I'll show you guys once we start creating the breakfast cups. So we wash our pans. We're just going to go ahead and put some non uh sticking oil in them. Um, since we're not using cups in it, we're going to hope that the oil <laughs> um, will make everything not stick. Now that we've got the oil in there, we're going to go ahead and put just a tiny bit of spinach. Um, I've learned from Beauty and the Beastins that um, you put spinach on the bottom, the egg will not really stick to the bottom, so that's exactly what we want. And you don't need to add that much, um, just, a, just a tiny bit. So we're gonna go ahead and make the bell pepper, onion, and um, cheddar cheese. 
ones now. So all you want to do is add a little bit to each cup. Doesn't really need to be that much, just like a tiny handful. Go ahead and put the bell peppers in. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and make the broccoli and the tomato one. So you just wanna, you know, fill up each cup a little bit with both tomatoes and broccoli. So I went ahead and put the tomatoes and broccoli in this one already. So now what we're gonna do is put the cheese. Um, for this one, we're gonna go ahead and use cheddar cheese. So you're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top of each uh, right before you put the egg in. So now that the cheddar is already in these, we're gonna go ahead and use Parmesan for the uh, broccoli and um, tomato one. So just shake a little bit in each one and then we'll go ahead and put the eggs in just a second. All right, so um, I did cut a lot of both ingredients. So it's fine, we usually do this all the time um, because now that we go to the gym, we have to cook our meals right when we get back home. It saves time on dicing stuff. We just toss it when we're cooking. So we'll go ahead and store these in the refrigerator for later on the week. All right, honey, so tell them what we're gonna do next. Okay, so the next step is putting salt and pepper, season it mm -hmm. on each one. All right, so go ahead. All and... right, so we have the salt right here. Sea salt right there. A little sprinkle. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit. And you guys, this is just a taste. However much you like in it, you can put it to taste. Sorry, it's real messy. We're going to clean it right before we put it in. Um, but it's just a taste, however much you salt and pepper that you like. Um, so she'll just go ahead and do all the seasoning for mm -hmm. that real quick. Okay. A little dash. The pepper sometimes comes out roll. <laughs> Alright, so what's the next step? So now we are going to pour the egg inside each little... Container. Awesome. Okay, let's see if I can. Just Sorry, we're real ghetto, y'all. We only have measuring cups. It's all good. <laughs> so Cass is gonna go ahead and fill up each one. Perfect. And you just wanna fill it up till till about right, right there. there. And you'll do that for each um, breakfast cup. All right, so our oven is preset at 350 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and get the breakfast cups and put them in there. So we'll just go ahead and get one. Um, I've never really change the racks um i know some people are really like particular about the racks i always kept it the same way and it never has been a problem for me so we'll go ahead and do that and we'll set the timer for about 20 to 15 20 minutes we will go ahead and set the timer for 20 minutes all right y'all so we got we got four i mean uh, eight containers set out so what we're going to do is Put our base of the brown rice down. Um, usually what I like to do is I put like one spoonful and then I just kind of pat it and then as we go, I have a lot of rice. This um, recipe called for a lot of rice so I'm not worried about running out. Um, I just want to go ahead and set everything first and then keep on adding as we go. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, you always want to have some type of, I mean you don't always want to, it's your preference really, but we always uh, use rice as our base because um, it gives it. It gives the the. Uh, it gives the meal prep more flavor, um, first of all, and secondly, it kind of fills you up more. As you know, rice um, will get you full. So, usually, I like to do that with every recipe that I do, um, whether it's brown or white. This one called for brown rice. So, um, in the past, we've also used cauliflower rice. Cassie's not a really big fan, <laughs> <laughs> so we stopped using it. But. Um, Mm -hmm. I liked it. I think it was really good. And a lot of people I've heard um, like it a lot. So, I mean, it just depends your preference. Like, there's some meal preps that there's some ingredients that Cassie doesn't like, so I'll switch it out for something else. Not saying that my wife is a picky eater, <laughs> although <laughs> although she kind of is. <laughs> but um, sometimes she's come around to eating a lot of different stuff, so usually either I won't tell her that it's in there <laughs> or um, I just switch it out for something else. So like I said, it's it's up to you. It's up to your preference, what you like to eat. Um, and you don't have to follow each meal prep to the exact T. Like there's certain things that we just don't use in the meal preps. Um, like I said, we just either don't like it or don't feel the need for it. Um, but most of the time I try to incorporate everything because I know it'll be better for taste. And um, it just depends. It, like I said, it all just depends on your preference. Um, but you'll figure out as you meal prep that you're pretty much your own chef and you're figuring it out on your own and whatever you like you'll do and I know you guys are gonna be like damn this is a lot of rice 
but mm. trust me, I'd rather eat the more more rice than not than be hungry. Um, I'm not really good when it comes to hungry, and we're just starting to. <laughs> she gets hangry, y'all. Get hangry, <laughs> and we're just starting to like really work out. So mm -hmm. I've noticed that if I don't eat a lot, then I get really energy. nauseous. No, remember last time I got really nauseous. Oh yeah. Like I was in cycling and I was like, oh babe, I'm so hungry. Like I could really pass yeah, out. I gotta get the meals in. So we try to eat a, a big lunch because after for dinner we don't really eat that much. Um, it's mostly just whatever we cook when we get back from the gym. Like I said, I don't like to cook a lot, um, so we don't eat too too much at night. Um, so really, lunch is our big meal. Um, it's what gives us the energy for our workouts. So we always make sure that we eat a big lunch and I'm sure some of you health people out there will say that's not the best thing to do but <laughs> that's just the way we do it girl and it's been working for us just fine so I ain't complaining maybe later on as we get better in our health journey or fitness journey mm -hmm. we'll be able to switch it up a little bit but for now we begin as a girl that's just the way we like to do it so as you can see I already used the entire thing and this was four cups of brown rice so I set the base we'll go ahead and add the stir fry in just a second all right so we've got the rice down we're gonna go ahead and put the meat in there um, like I mentioned earlier with the rice as long as I just put one spoonful um, I can always add some later I want to just make sure that I evenly have some food distributed across all of the meals um, and so we'll just keep doing that um, until the food goes down and We'll be able to add more later all right so um, the last thing we're just gonna top everything off it didn't call for sesame seeds but my wife is obsessed with sesame seeds so we're gonna add that and then mm -hmm. we're gonna add some um, top we're gonna top it off with some peanuts that's what it did call off call it for but like I mentioned earlier you make your own flavor mm -hmm. you yeah. just add whatever you like you put, are the put chef. extra on mine girl <laughs> <laughs> You are the I chef. I love sesame seeds. Yummy. Oh, there? yeah, that's perf. You are the chef. You make up the call. Mm -hmm. You just have a little mini playbook, and then you go from there. Sorry, I'm, like, obsessed with sports stuff, so everything I do is a game reference. <laughs> so, like I said, you're the chef. You're the boss. You add whatever you like. I'll go ahead and turn on mine first because I don't really like that many peanuts. I'm just going to okay. top it off with a little bit just for the Taste, I Looks guess. Yummy. The rest I'll give to my honey because I know <laughs> she loves peanuts. <laughs> All right. Um, so we are are we are done with the um, meal prep of this. So I'm gonna put the lids on, let them cool down for a little bit, and then I'm gonna stick them in the um, freezer. I mean the freezer. I'm going to stick them in the refrigerator. Um, you can keep them in the refrigerator up to five days. Uh, we only make it till Thursday. Fridays we usually either eat out at work or we just eat out. <laughs> we never cook for Fridays. Um, so these are going to be good up until Thursday. So I'll go ahead and put them in the refrigerator and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So this is the final product. This is the uh, ground turkey stir fry with a brown rice base. Um, so now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go ahead and put the tops on and we can freeze these up to five days in the refrigerator um but yeah that was simple easy ingredients the ground turkey stir fry oh looks like they're ready <laughs> so as you all just heard the timer went off um go ahead and pull these out uh, let's see how they look oh my god they smell so freaking good I can smell the onion. Mm. This smells amazing. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So you'll take them out. Damn, they look, they look and smell good. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, y'all. That is breakfast cups. Um, these also, they're good up to five days. So what we'll go ahead and do, let me turn this off. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll let this cool off a little bit. We will put them in, um, we'll go ahead and let these cool off. We'll put them in some containers for about five days. You can keep them up to five days, um, but we don't need anything past Thursday. So we'll have these in there um, ready. And like I said earlier, they're just quick on the go. We'll take them, pop them in the microwave when I get to work. Um, 
And there you have it, y'all. That is lunch and breakfast for the next four days. They're ready. Everything for under $50. Um, and some of the things we didn't really even need. We just got them because we had some high household items we needed to buy. So probably like less than $40. Um, $35, $40 mm -hmm. to make all those meals. So you're good to, we're good to go until Thursday. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these kinds of videos, me cooking, um, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment saying that you really want these types of videos. And I will keep doing them. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot harder. It did take about three hours to do everything. But like I said, I was recording and... Um, I had to just like talk the whole time. Most of the time when I'm in my zone, like I'm just chopping shit up and I never have to like worry about the time. I always make it like literally an hour, but it did take a little bit longer because I was recording and Cassie and I were talking, playing <laughs> with the dogs. So uh, we got distracted, but I'm pretty sure that you all can do it in like an hour and a half too. Um, so like I said, if you like these kind of videos, let me know. I really enjoyed making it and creating this kind of content for you guys. So um, easy, budget-friendly meal preps for breakfast and lunch. Um, they're healthy as well. I didn't we didn't really add anything any crazy type of ingredients, so they're pretty healthy. Um, so if you has, guys have any questions, I will try to put everything in the description box. But if you have any other questions in regards to meal prepping or cooking and stuff, please let me know. I am not an expert by any means. It's just something that I enjoy to do. I know I probably did some things ugly, so sorry. <laughs> That's just the way I do it. But um, hope you guys have an amazing week, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.